There is some pretty dramatic video, Wolf, from the cockpits of military planes, and tonight we've spoken to pilots who have spotted those UFOs. There have been enough of these sightings in recent years with specific descriptions from sharp-eyed pilots that the U.S. military is now streamlining, streamlining its process for reporting those incidents. Oh, my gosh, dude. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. A veteran fighter pilot surprised by an object outside his cockpit window. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. My gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Oh, thank you. This video is from a U.S. military training mission off the coast of Jacksonville, Florida in 2015. The object is a UFO, and American military pilots have seen so many of them in recent years that the Navy tonight tells CNN it's briefed members of Congress this week on what it calls threats to the safety and security of our aviators. The Navy won't comment on what it told members of Congress. Senate Intelligence Committee Vice Chair Mark Warner is one member who got a classified briefing. One of the key takeaways I'd have is that the, um, you know, the military and others are taking this issue seriously, which I think in previous generations may not have been the case. And it's even gotten to the level of the president. And I did have one very brief meeting on it, but people are saying they're seeing UFOs. Do I believe it? Not particularly. But former Navy pilots tell CNN they still can't explain the objects they spotted. We spoke to Ryan Graves, who flew Navy F-A-18 Super Hornet fighter jets. He was on that same mission off Jacksonville, which spotted this object. Well, if there's a like good thing, it's rotating. Graves told us this object was similar to what he saw on training missions off the southern coast of Virginia throughout 2014 and 2015. But that was one of the most amazing things to us, or at least to me, was that these objects would be out there all day uh, and the speeds that they're exhibiting as well as the flight characteristics. Uh, there's no platform or really an energy source that I'm aware of that could allow something to stay in the air. Uh, as long as these objects were. Graves told us he and his fellow pilots first thought these objects were drones, then a near disaster. Someone accidentally uh, had one of the objects flying between his aircraft at very close range and gained visual, realized it was very unlikely that it was a U.S. drone program. Another former Navy fighter pilot, David Fravor, told us he saw a UFO during a training mission off San Diego in 2004 on a clear day. What surprised him? The object had no visible propulsion and was much more agile than a plane or a helicopter. This was extremely abrupt, like a ping pong ball bouncing off a wall. It would hit and go the other way and change directions at will. Skeptics say these objects could simply be military hardware being tested on classified missions, unbeknownst to the pilots who spotted them. Uh, <laughs> it's probably one part of the military not telling the other part, other part of the military what they're up to for a good reason. Still, Graves is happy that the Navy has a newly upgraded process for pilots to report these sightings. If these things are operating airspace, the smallest amount of damage they could do is potentially take out a couple of lives in an aircraft, and I think that alone is worth the investigation. Now, we asked U.S. Navy officials about those comments from Bill Nye, the science guy, that these could simply be cases where one branch of the military does not tell another what it's doing. A Navy official did not respond directly to that, but did tell us they are working with the U.S. Air Force and other branches to better understand what pilots are seeing. Another Navy official told us the Navy does not believe that aliens have been flying around in U.S. airspace, but he said they do have to investigate all of these reports of unidentified aircraft.